Hi, it's Julian Barker here. I'm here with Steve without masks. This is a first filming session without masks, so uh, this is what we look like. Um, we've just been discussing about, um, and a world that Steve and I very much live in, uh, of how um, emotional stuff and emotional load can uh, manifest physically and, and comes as, as pain. And we tend to kind of think about, you know, what injury was done. You just mentioned it, please don't let it be a disc because certainly in our world, we know that disc problems are, are big and they're painful and it's difficult. So uh, our brain tends to jump to that as the worst bit. But in reality, life's just full. And as I just said, you know, your Basically. plate is mounted as a, as good as a full life should be. Um, but of course it has a physical, it has an effect on our, um, um, on our nervous system because it affects our thinking brain and our feeling brain and uh, you know the relationship between body and brain and all that For and sure. so and we're big into fascia as well god don't, don't get started we get started off we do a whole show on fascia, on fascia, fascia. Show. <laughs> stand there climb up lie down oh the fascia show i'm liking that <laughs> yes let's do the fascia show <laughs> Okay, right, for uh, regular fans of the, uh, the fascia show, um, we'll know that Steve tends to be uh, right peeling. Nearly slipped into an Aussie accent there, I don't know what happened mm -hmm. there. Yeah, the fascia show, man, yeah. Um, uh, so I'm just uh, running in speedy here. Okay, so I get nothing on the left AS. When I do the right PS, I seem to get an increase, which means, there we go. It does feel, and today has definitely been one of those days for me uh, in clinic as well, where just everybody has um, a, a PO at your um, And it feels a little bit, I actually could do the numbers because we keep good notes here, but they're all like right PO at limbs. And, um, I very much wondered over the years, as hopefully um, my my army of skeptics out there were thinking, yeah, that that's me that's doing that. Well, I don't actually think it is. I'm trying really hard to not influence it, and I actually I'm not looking for it. The mindset is, assuming you're not that this is not going to make any difference because it shouldn't, and you're not going to find anything. If you've got your head in that mindset, when you do find something, you know things have changed. Um, okay, so squeeze your knees together. And let go. Get a bit deep there. Right hand up behind your back. Swap your hands around. So we're getting a little bit of L5 action. Just swap them back again. I'll back down by side two. Yeah, just with that. That sort of psoas area just feels almost anterior spine. Gotcha. Just deep in. So bang on the uh, inferior articular process of L5. Yeah. Um, both hands up behind your back together. Both back down by sides. So take your right hand up by your face. Just have a big deep breath in and out. Left hand up as well. Um, keep right hand where it is, put the left hand behind your back. Jump in T8 to L1. Uh, and both arms down by your sides. Put your left hand up by your face. Arm back down by side. So I'm tempted to go with a bit of an L1, especially, uh, well, I'm not letting you influence me. Our oh, humans riddled with preconceptions and biases. You better believe it. Yeah, it did. Am I exempt? Absolutely not at all. Um, turn your head to the right. Lift the right shoulder up off the couch and back down. Shrug both shoulders up to your ears and back down. Squeeze the right elbow into your side and let go. Squeeze the left one in and let go. Uh, 
head back into the centre. So right medial left lateral scapular pattern. Can't be surfing. No, no surf recently. No surf and no surfing. Very sad for us. Plenty of bag work though, keep you sane. Yeah, it's constant. Constant. What's the wooden dummy cord that they use in for the chunk? I don't know what it's called, I think it's just a wing, wing chunk isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, never had a go on one, I think mean, it's probably five years of pain, isn't it, to, to stop searching. Okay, lift up your head and back down. Tuck your chin down to your chest, back to centre. We're talking martial arts. I'm sure you all knew that. But, uh, slight tuck of chin down to your chest. Two, three. C5 and the necklace tend to be fairly close to each other. Head back into the centre. Stretch your right hand towards your right knee. And back round. Left hand, left knee. And back round. Okay, not really getting anything there. So yeah, let's go so as. Push both knees down into the couch and let go. Yeah, hopefully you saw that left foot twitching like a good one there. Um, I'm definitely getting an elevated. It's actually made your right ankle go all stiff. So we've got a right psoas. Before I do that, I just want to check this ankle. There is a bit of a sort of planter thing going on my right heel. Gotcha, okay. So I'm going for a... Uh, medial talus, talus, uh, so um, calcaneus can go superior, inferior, medial and lateral and uh, the test is give it a thump basically and you'll see that change yeah so we have a, a lateral calcaneus um, set phases to stun so top on Just going lateral to medial. Okay. Is it worth checking the knee? Yeah, it's definitely worth checking. There we go, another one with an anterior proximal fibula head. Okay, so we've got a right psoas to do just before we check that. Um, right side of the pelvis, push it into the couch, and there you go. So we're, and same on the left. There you go. Isolation test for pubic symphysis. Seems to be good. Squeeze your knees together, and there you go, which is the one in the basic scan, which I skipped because I did. Seems to be good. Have you got an ICV test? I can't remember. ITV test, yeah. I ICV. ICV? Yeah, I see for well. Uh, tends to come up with L1, which um, you did. I did. So, yes, <laughs> I've already done it. There's um, what um, is called the false hiatus hernia, which is, uh, I think it's a gut brain thing, but there's, I'll turn you over and do that one. So, stress testing the uh, left side of the. Um, CVAP plexus. So we'll, we'll turn you over and do that. So everyone to your back. Good thing about scrubs, those pockets, there you go. Love it. So prone leg test and supine leg test, shall I say? I'd say no. Um, superior, inferior. Sternum. Um, might never yet, but would love to get it on a Scrabble board. Ziphoid. Oh yeah, that's a bit a bit lively, isn't it? 
You have quite a mobile Zephyr. There we go. It's not a line. It's just a fast like a ski jump. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when I press inferior, I'm getting leg change. If I and superior seems to be good. So yeah. So I'll be nice, I'll go three because and it's a period so I can get it. Okay. And we had a right toe as well, so maybe really swap places. Oh, actually I'll come to you. Tell me bum, bum, there. Yeah. Straight across. And then track. The ilio so as down. I know in the textbook it says just one. Possibly a bad habit, but it makes sense for me to do three, so I do. Cool. See you guys next time.